Good afternoon, everyone. Locksmith Eddie here live in sunny South Florida. And boy, have I got a special treat for you. Today, what we're going to be working on is a CSS, Corporate Safe Specialist Double Door Safe. Uh, we actually have 27 of these safes to do uh, in the Palm Beach, Broward, and Dade County area. For, uh, and what we're going to do is uh, change the locks. They don't want to use the uh, electronic locks anymore. They want to replace them with brand new S&Gs. Uh, such SG 6730s mechanical dial. I already have replaced this one. So what we're going to do is replace the upper door to complete this particular safe and we'll have 26 more to finish. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the camera right now so we can get this uh, ready so I can show you exactly how it's done. I've been doing locksmith for over 35 years. Uh, we do a lot of Palm Beach mansions, both safes and vaults, rekey locks. I'm also a locksmith. So uh, what we're going to do right now, we're going to remove the old lock. We're going to replace it with a Sergeant Greeley 6730 mechanical lock. You can see we have a brand new di uh, lock dial, dial and the dial ring. We actually have all of the uh, brand new screws that we're going to uh, open up and get ready to install all of this as well. So what we'll do right now is we're going to remove the first screw, take this screw out, uh, lift up on this dial, this dial here. Let's pull this out with, uh, let's pull it out like this. Prop this up, take the screw out. You can see the two plugs right here. You're going to pull this plug out, pull that plug. Now we removed the uh, keypad. We'll set the screw here on its side. We're going to pull the battery out. The battery comes out just like that. It's a 9 volt battery. They're using a Rayovac alkaline. As a matter of fact, it still has a little juice left in it. Uh, we're going to pull the screws out. There's two screws that hold this dial together here. Uh, one here's the lower screw. So we're probably going to have to reuse uh, those screws because uh, the standard ones uh, were probably opened up to accommodate this electronic lock. So uh, we'll take the screws out of there. We'll then feed the wire back through here. Take the screws, set those aside, set the dial over here to the side as well. Uh, let's turn the safe upside down. You can see it's a heavy, thick safe. And what they did here, it appears that they put a wooden stick in there to keep the relocker from setting off. So we're going to pull this cover off of here uh, as such to exposing what we have here. Pull the cover off and as you can see we have the lock inside. You can see where they put this in here to keep the lock from locking. Uh, they didn't want to, apparently they may forgot the combination or they didn't want to lock it and have a real situation on their hands. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and remove, well, let's remove this wood. You can see the bolt got thrown out. This is holding, this is the relocker plate. This keeps the relocker from locking down in the event somebody punches the lock through. So what we'll do is uh, use our screwdriver here. We're going to go ahead and pull this off. Set these screws aside. As you can see, once that uh, plate was moved, the relocker set down. It would now lock the safe. Uh, then you would have to drill it in order to be able to pull this pin down in order to get the safe open. But we're not going to have to worry about that. All right, we got the screws out of here. We're now going to pull this off. You can see this. We'll take this right off as such. And once it's pulled back, you can see we have a plug right here. We can pull the plug out on that one. We're going to leave this. This is our soldered on. So let's go ahead and remove the four screws as such. And that should remove the motorized lock as you can see it. We'll set that aside for now. We then feed the wire from the other side through the hole, and there you go. There's your lock. There's your uh, electronic lock right here. This is the circuit board, the cord that runs through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this safe back around. 
can see we now have a hole here. Wipe it off a little bit. We're going to take our trim ring. This is the dial ring right here. This is the, uh, the uh, bushing. We're actually going to take that bushing and we're going to stick it right in to the hole and press fit it in as such. That will give us the bushing that the dial is going to ride on, as you can see in right there as such. Okay, now this this is a universal spindle. Uh, it accommodates different thicknesses of, of safe doors. So what we'll have to do is we're gonna have to measure it to cut it and then uh, stick it in so we have it to be able to work. All right, we have the safe up right now. We're gonna go ahead and take the dial, you can see the screws. We're probably going to have to reuse the same screws that they used uh, for the for the uh, original dial because the holes are now larger than what was originally in there. You can see these screws. The original screws aren't going to stay. So what we need to do is uh, this is actually too small to fit in. So we're going to have to use the drill bit drill and what we'll do is we'll take the drill and just kind of drill the hole here a little bit it's made out of aluminum you don't want to go too hard on it as you can see we got opened the holes up a slightly the screws now will go in, as you can see, just as such. We will then set this right down on here. Now, this is the original screws that came out of the safe, uh, and we're going to just reuse the same ones for this dial ring since the threads and the holes uh, are already there. So we're going to go ahead and screw that down. We'll go ahead and get the other screw. We will kind of center this. We want to try to make the uh, the dial ring vertical just like that so we're going to sit there and we'll set it just like that look down in there it appears that the hole lines up beautifully so we can go ahead and just tighten those right down you can see that right down in there straight through all right so we'll come down to the other side And what we'll do now is we're going to pull the cover off of this brand new lock. This is a Sergeant Greenleaf 6730 lock. Uh, they come with locking dials. You can get it with spy proof. Uh, but all we needed was just the, uh, the basic dial here. So we're going to pull this off right here. You can see that's the cover. Here it is here. This is the inside lock. It's 6730. Uh, three wheel locking mechanism. And then what you're going to notice is this says uh, left hand, right hand, vertical up, vertical down. Uh, this particular safe, the lock is mounted vertical up. So when we go to put the spline back in, we'll mark it with the VU on it, which we will show you that in a little later. We're going to pull the cam out. This is the cam that pulls the bolt back. We will then go ahead and screw the lock screws down into there. So we're going to actually use this little tweezers to set the screws in there. Start them in loose just to get them started. We'll then take another choice right here. Get that down in there. This one in there as such we'll go ahead and put the other one in here as well now these uh, electronic locks are found on gun safes uh, uh, money chests and uh, virtually any type of lock uh, decent safe I'm not talking the century safes or anything like that you want to make sure these screws are down and tight you don't want to strip them just enough to hold it down just like that all right now what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, the spline through here we're going to show you the dial all the way through 
You can see how big that is. All right, we can, that's actually too long. We would not be able to put the cover on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and screw this down. This is the cam. And what we're gonna use is to measure, we're gonna use it to measure so we can cut this spline down. So what we'll do is get it down to there. We're gonna get this in line. We will then turn this in there like that and then continue to spin the dial until it's up against the dial ring. Now you don't want to cram it up too tight. It's pretty tight right there. So what we'll do is we'll loosen it just a little bit so we'll have a little play. Take a little bit more, maybe just right to there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a marker. We're going to mark that position where we're at right there. So what we'll do see we have just enough play right there you can see that just like that mark this right here I know we're using yellow but you can still see it and then what we'll do set this like that and then go ahead and mark the spindle using any sharp object so we'll get that sharp just like that and then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and remove the spindle from that again. Hold it. Take it back up here like this. Take it all the way off. Pull the spindle back through. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the cam back on. We're going to put that back on there because when we go to cut it with the hacksaw, as a matter of fact, there's our mark right there. You can see the mark. Uh, let me see, there it is. We're gonna cut that right at that location. And then when after we cut it, we'll be able to make sure the threads are straightened out when we put this back together. So let me just slide this down. All right, I'm gonna go back and cut this and I will be right back. Okay, as you can see, we cut the spindle down right to where we wanted it with a hacksaw and now what we'll do is we'll thread this back as you can see we'll thread it so that the threads on that uh, spline shaft will be nice and smooth so now we'll just remove that like that we will then set that aside let's put the dial back in to the hole as such as it comes up through we then will screw the spindle the, the cam back down onto the lock so we'll hold this up put that down in there just as such go ahead and screw we're going to screw it back into you can see the thing starting to come back up through as such there it is right there now because this lock here's the safe lock you can see it it is in the up position the, the block is mounted in the up position so it's vertical up so what we're gonna have to do is put that spline right on that VU as you can see that right there VU there it is right there vertical up we will then take our spline key I actually had to file it down put a little point on it so it's easier to go in to the lock right there and we'll stick it in there just as such and then we're going to tap it down in you know just tap it easy you don't have to jam it down in there as such so there it is just like that it's in the vertical up position this side is the vertical down this is left hand that is right hand so as long as the spline is up there we will be good to go we're now going to go ahead and put the SNG cover back on as such we will then put the the uh, relocker plate there uh, just as such like that that'll keep the bolt retracted until someone tries to break into it and then that will cause it to lock down as we showed you earlier we are now going to go ahead and put the screws back in to the lock as such let me see And also, 
have to remember this little latch right here. This latch here, set. if this was to bust off, it would set it off, fall into that hole right there, and lock the bolt down as well. So uh, we want to be careful we have that. So uh, what we'll do now is we'll just go ahead and put the thing back together as such. Just want to make sure that those screws go in there because you do not want that uh, eventually to work itself loose and lose this because then you're going to have a dead lockout and then you're going to have to call me to come out and get it open. So there you go. We have it just as there. So there it is. We're going to put the plate on. We'll check the, the, the dial. You can see the dial turns very nice. You can see we'll set, we'll just turn the combination and we're going to try it and boom there it is. And as you can see, there it is, door locks up. Now, the only way the door will shut is if you go ahead, when the door shuts, it releases this, locks the bolts back out. And there you have it. We will put the cover back on and this safe job is complete. Uh, we have 26 more to accomplish, but that will be it. We replaced the electronic lock with a brand new SNG lock here as you can see. Pick up that phone at 561-693-8636. Uh, Locksmith Eddie coming to you live here in sunny South Florida. Thank you for watching.